What's up, YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can improve your intelligence and be more attractive to women. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends, like Barney Schubert, salute. Now, when it comes to being attracted to the opposite sex, there's certain things we just can't control, at least the things we think the ladies are into. I'm 5'10". I'm not going to get over six feet. As handsome as I might think I am, I'm not going to get more handsome. Your bank account isn't going to grow overnight. You're not going to get that fancy car that you think is going to catch your eye. But there are some things that are under our control. For one, our level of intelligence. And I'm here to tell you, fellas, you're sleeping on how important that is to the ladies. There's a lot of women that find intelligence extremely attractive. There's even a term for it. It's called sapiosexual. Ladies that are turned on by smart guys. So what I wanna to do today is give you about nine to 10 tips to help you improve your intelligence. That's not only gonna make you a more well-rounded, smarter guy, but actually might help you catch that lady's eye. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First up on the list might be most important in my opinion. That's making sure you're well-read. When you read a lot, you expand your experiences and your vocabulary. You learn from the life of others, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. A lot of you guys ask, how do I know so much about different topics? That's because I've been an avid reader my whole life and I continue to be. You wind up learning about stuff you didn't even know just through osmosis. And these days, a lot of people just don't read. So I suggest you pick up a book or two. It expands your mind and make you more attractive to the ladies. Now our second tip picks up and piggybacks from the first. That's making sure you're always open to learning new things. Now I might cliche you to death on this video. And one of my favorites is that a wise man knows he knows nothing and a know nothing thinks he's wise. You wanna be constantly learning, picking up new information from different people and different places. Like I said, pick up a book, enroll in the class, expand your mind, continue to keep learning. The knowledge base you have now can be great, but it never hurts to expand it and grow it. Next up on the list, still in a similar vein, you wanna surround yourself with people who know more than you about a particular subject or might just be smarter than you. Time for another great cliche. If you're the smartest person in the room, you need to be in another room. You wanna be constantly learning, and one of the best ways to do it is to learn from others. Learn from what they know and also learn from their mistakes. Put yourself in rooms, situations, and environments where people know more than you. You'll definitely exponentially grow your experience level and your knowledge base. Now, fourth tip builds on the third one. That's understanding the value of listening more than you speak. Now, in the comment section, I want you to keep a running total of my cliches in this video. You are given two ears and one mouth for a reason, to listen twice as much as you speak. I understand it can be tempting to talk, talk, talk especially in a social environment. But calm down, relax, listen. You're gonna learn a lot and you'll also not reveal some of the things you might not know. It's okay to not know everything. And it's even better not to reveal that you don't know everything. Speak on topics that you're confident about and have a working knowledge about. But if you don't know what you're talking about, just remain silent, it's okay. My next tip helps you avoid some of the sticky situations from the last one, not knowing what to speak about. That's making sure you expose yourself to a wide range of educational and current event topics. Women love a man who's well-versed and can expound upon a wide range of topics. How do you do that? You have to expose yourself to these different topics. You wanna break out of the narrow topics you might be focused on, such as sports or style, and expand to different things such as politics, history, religion, you name it, a wide variety of topics. Being able to hold an intelligent conversation on a wide range of issues very attractive to the ladies. Just like it's important to know the do's, we also have to talk about the don'ts. And one of these in the intelligence area, don't wear your intelligence or your knowledge on your sleeve. Just like anything else, there's no need to be braggadocious and drag out all these fancy $20 words. During normal, regular conversation, your intelligence will be self-evident. Don't be an intellectual snob. Just like you shouldn't brag about your pocket or your fancy car, let your knowledge come out over time. Be subtle. Ladies love subtlety and find it very attractive. However, on the other hand, 
Don't let me convince you that you shouldn't have a broad vocabulary. And that brings me to the next don't. Try to relieve yourself of the temptation of always using swear words or cursing. Now trust me, I like to use a four letter word for emphasis just as much as the next guy. That's not a mark of intelligence, especially around the ladies. Leave the curse words for when you and I or the fellas are hanging out. Being rude, obnoxious, or using swear words, not very attractive to the ladies. Now being as though we're trying to attract the eyes of the ladies, and this is a style channel, one of the things you can do while you're working on building up your intelligence is to dress well. Being well-dressed gives others the perception that you know what you're talking about. When you're well-dressed, you project confidence and it makes you look a little smarter. And last, but certainly not least on my list, on how to be more intelligent and attract the ladies, you gotta make sure that you're not selling yourself short in the intelligence department. Believe it or not, most smart people are smarter than they actually think. They have a lack of self-confidence or may have had some experiences that may have them questioning their smarts. You may be limiting your potential and your attractiveness to the ladies by thinking you're not as smart as you really are. But if you do know there's some voids or some holes in your knowledge base, go out there and improve it. But don't think you're not smart. We all have a certain amount of aptitude, but you can improve upon your intelligence and your smarts. Just believe yourself, go out there, do it. Okay, so there you have it. My guide on how to be more intelligent and attract the ladies. Let me know in the comment section what you do to up your smarts. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.